design software I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I want to put a disclaimer on this and say that design isn't really about the software, it's more about the critical thinking and how you get to the end product doesn't really matter as long as you get there. But in saying that there is some software that's better for certain things than others and you'll find that your workflow is faster for things in some software compared to others. It's different for everyone but I thought I would tell you today about what I use for what purpose. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Adobe Illustrator is my vector program of choice. I use it for things like drawing and illustrations and laying out typographic designs too sometimes. In fact a lot of my t-shirt designs are done in Illustrator or if they're a hand-drawn piece then they're at least finished in Illustrator because that's where I go to vectorize my hand drawings. I do use Illustrator for designing things like posters and other printed material as well but if the thing I'm designing has more than a few pages or if it's got a lot of text to it then I will use Adobe InDesign instead because it's much better at dealing with text and multi-page documents. It's really what the software is built for. These days though I don't do a whole lot of print design which I'm kind of happy about because it's not my favorite anymore so I don't use InDesign quite so much but that is the software that I go to when I do need to do more text heavy document type things. These days I find myself using Photoshop less and less as well strangely I never thought I would say that. I use it mostly now for preparing images either editing them or making them the right size or sometimes I will use Photoshop to do like a graphic to go on Twitter or a blog that sort of thing. Photoshop used to be what I used day in day out for web design but now I've switched over to a program called Sketch. Sketch is software that is built with the modern web designer in mind and that's something that Photoshop was never really intended to be used for. It's just something that happened along the way. It does take a bit of getting used to just because things like the key commands and the workflow and the layout of the app itself is all totally different to Photoshop but honestly once you do get used to it you will never look back and you'll wonder why on earth you were content using Photoshop for so long at least that's what I found anyway. It's vector based software so you never have to worry about losing the quality of any of your graphics or images and it's sort of like a cross between Photoshop and Illustrator and also Keynote. I don't know it's really hard to describe. I love it because you can lay out a bunch of different artboards and you can see your progress and compare different designs side by side. It's really easy to export elements from it especially compared to Photoshop it just makes it completely hassle free and it totally blew my mind when I first saw how that worked. The whole workflow using it is really great to be honest. It's a super speedy program like it's built to be really quick which is awesome. I'll stop going on about that now but if you're a web designer you should definitely check it out. I'll leave a link down below where you can do that. I'm worried it's sounding like this video was sponsored. It's not. I just really love this software. The next thing isn't really software that I design in technically but it is part of my design process so I thought I'd mention it. I use InVision to share screen flows and get feedback on designs. It's great because people can see your designs in a flow sort of as they're intended and as if people are going through the website. They're seeing it in a browser or on a phone rather than like scrolling through a PDF which isn't really ever how you'd view a website. So it means that it simulates the real thing as much as possible and I think that way you're going to get the best possible feedback. Also people can go in and leave comments on the specific part of the design that they're talking about and that really helps as well for managing all that feedback and collating it all. I hope you guys liked hearing about what design software I use for what purpose. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I will see you next time. Bye!